Thank you, Autonomous, for sponsoring this video. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm gonna show you how I made my song, Do It Like Ray. Let's go. It all started on February, 2021. It had been three months since I last posted a YouTube video. All the hype around Pokey Pokey had mostly dissipated, and I had just moved back in this house with my family, away from LA, and all of my friends. I was completely lost musically. Do I make more simcore? Do I start a Twitch boy band? Do I make my own solo album, like a serious solo album? Or do I go back to pitching to major label artists? None of it felt like the right move. And I just couldn't help but think that I had peaked. Am I ever gonna make anything that's as good as Pokey Pokey? I, I have no idea. Music is always better when it's collaborative. I don't think I could bring a project from start to finish completely by myself at this point. It's literally been years since I've done that. And since the pandemic started, I've been doing less and less sessions with other people, making it even harder to stay focused. But what I did have was my online community on Twitch and on Discord to help me push through and eventually make what would become my next single. This is how we did it. Can't do it like We start with Who. These Simcore tracks are special because they're based in truth and are inspired into existence by the people they're about. Valkyrie, for instance, was fresh off winning Streamer of the Year 2020. And the Game Award goes to Valkyrie. Congratulations. It has now guest starred in two huge music videos and is now co-owner of 100 Thieves. She was having the year of her life and we were literally only a couple months in. Also, we're both Filipinos that can't speak Tagalog. So, I mean, like, how can I not relate to that? So even when I committed to a Valky track, I still had no concept or idea or track. Then one day, while I was working on one of the earlier Scratch tracks, a viewer named FDA Savage came through and posted some lyrics in chat, and that in turn inspired a melody, which then led to the actual concept. Do it like Val- Do it like Valkyrie? Wait, what if we- do it like Valkyrie. I kind of like, wait, do it like Valkyrie. That's kind of cool. I might've just got our title. Do it like Valkyrie. Oh my God, that's, that's a concept right there. She's the epitome of cool. A role model that we're trying to replicate, right? It's a very crude and like not cool way of saying it, but that's essentially, I think the message of do it like Valkyrie. <laughs> yes! Yes! Title! That's the first step! Finally, we had our North Star. But even with that, we still needed the track. So, we go back to the studio. what I was thinking with this one. The only thing I knew is that I wanted it to have a pop R&B vibe, something Ariana Grande-esque. Cause I don't know about you guys, but something about those two reminded me of each other. They're just similar somehow. Maybe they're like second cousins or something. We both know that Wikipedia is never wrong. And if Wikipedia says that I'm Ariana Grande's second cousin, then it must be true. She uses extensions. I don't, but. The long hair vibe runs in the family. Anyway, that style isn't quite my forte, so it was a struggle at first. But then one day, I was chilling on TikTok and I saw one of those music theory videos that has like, copy this sweet chord progression and use it in one of your videos. I'll just show it to you. What are some non-sexual sounds that turn you on? This entire chord progression. <laughs> exact vibe I wanted so it was perfect I just took it and I started the track that night and I even thought of the hook too here's the voice note of the melody can't do it like no you can't do it like Ray can't do it like no you can't do it like Valkyrie yeah yeah Valkyrie no no so with that in mind, I went live on Twitch the next day and we started the writing process for the track. Today, we're starting a new song. It becomes a reality. 
on this stream. I wish I could say that it was smooth sailing from there, but of course it wasn't. That's not how these things go. <laughs> he always looking classy, just comfy, sleek, or fancy. Can't help but be distracted. She's so damn fine. Yeah. Girl, you're stuck in my mind when you're working that grind. No one can compare you now. Hooked on your design, sending chills down my spine. So girl. She vibing so casual and it's just so natural. We went for weeks, weeks and weeks of writing, rewriting, scrapping old ideas, reinventing them, you know, just going back and forth over and over again until eventually we came up with the final product. I also gotta shout out my boys, Charlie and TJ. They really helped me to finalize my ideas, especially in the pre-chorus and the bridge with the, the shapes of the melodies and the chord progressions especially. So uh, yeah, huge shout outs to them. Bruh. At some point before all this started, I rated a random music streamer on Twitch named OHB or One Handed Bandit, in case you didn't know what that stood for. Hey, John, thanks so much for the Raid, bro. This shit's lit. I didn't know who he was. He didn't know who I was. But that night, he learned about Pokey Pokey. The guy that made Pokey Pokey. Pokey Pokey. Pokey Pokey. This? Oh shit, bro. Oh shit, bro. That shit comes in hot, bro. It's about Pokemon. And I learned that he's a dope, half black, half Filipino rapper and happens to be a big fan of Ray too. So is she like your, your e-girl of choice? You stan Pokemon, okay. I stan Valky Ray. <laughs> you know Valky Ray? Oh, you're making a song for Valky Ray right now? Let me hop on that shit. Then soon after that, he'd frequently come by my stream and eventually he wrote one of the best sections of the entire song. Like Ray, Filipino Babay, and chat to the Amagon Don Gabe. Hey, hey. she be popping off. Pop when she get imposter, tell the Mazel Tov. Views max out, she ain't falling off. Uh. And I stay logged in till she logging off. Okay. Yeah, she be true to herself. True. Don't lose morals, she don't need any help. Uh. Yeah, bad bitch, savage, not your average. She go ravage, rabbit, rabbit. What? Babushka, slaying the toast. <laughs> Killing Saikuno, he doing the most. Say fuck you, Peter, I'm loving the roast. Ray, do it with <laughs> What the hell? Dude, awesome. Love it. Love it. Dude, you killed it, dude. That's such a great verse. Bruh. So about the bridge. I knew from the very beginning that I wanted to incorporate some kind of Tagalog or Filipino into the song because, you know, Ray and I share that background. OHB already incorporated some into his verse, but I knew I wanted to sing some myself, so the bridge was the last place to do that. Now, writing a song in your own fluent language is difficult enough already. Writing one in a language you don't understand? <sighs> oh man. It was it was really hard, okay? It was tough. It was it was difficult. Google Translate is not reliable. It sucks. The grammar on that thing is completely off. So I had to rely on other sources. You know, like Twitch chat. Twitch chat was very helpful. We came up with various options and ideas to throw in there. Yeah, she's one of a kind, ganda bang ha bang buhai. They get so lost in her eyes. Just all time, I find it hard to believe. Ki slap them kanyaniti. She make it look so easy. Makes it harder to breathe. Got me saying, give me more kaya. but maybe it was because of me. It just never really felt right after all of our hard work. So after a while, I went to my family who does speak fluent Tagalog. We were literally just chilling in my kitchen. My mom was there, my dad, my grandma, my tito, my ninang, my sister. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's fine because it's a second yeah, line. Yeah, look, that's fine. And we just sat there, I sung with a guitar until eventually we figured it out. Okay, I'll sing the whole bridge. Can't do it like, can't do it like, can't do it like, it don't be not done. Can't do it like, can't do it on Akin Harana, Harasa Yoto.
Okay. Yes! Okay, let's go. And honestly, I think it came out great. Also, huge shout out to the Filipino fans that really love that section. I did it for you guys. I know Ray doesn't speak Tagalog, I don't speak Tagalog, but it's just a shout out to our heritage. It's a common thread between us and Filipinos are a huge part of both of our fan bases. So, Filipino pride. Bruh. I had a lot of support from many different places during the process of making this song. But you know what had my back? 100% of the time was there for me on stream and even off stream was there for me even more than my twitch chat and even more than my family It was this chair This chair right here. This guy is the ergo chair 2 by autonomous and the sponsor for this video This super comfortable versatile gaming and office chair has so many adjustment options that I can't keep count including its height headrest backrest, seat tilt, and even the armrests. I actually just discovered this lever right here and I've had it for months at this point. The mesh back is flexible and allows for great airflow so you don't overheat and can recline back to five lockable positions. It hasn't lost any bounce in the cushion, allowing me to stay comfortable and focus on my music, stream, or game. It's made out of 100% earth-friendly materials, but it feels very sturdy and heavy-duty, so I can tell it's a chair that will last for years. The ergo chair helped me keep good posture and health while I stay glued to my workstation for hours every day working on Do It Like Ray, and I know it will continue to do so for a very long time. I swear it's the most comfortable chair I've ever owned, and Autonomous was kind enough to send it to me and give me a discount code for you guys. Use the link in the description and code John of the Forest 0 2 for 5% off your order. Bruh. So a lot of people were asking me if I'm going to be doing a remix competition for this song like I did for Pokey Pokey last time, and well, no. But in the description, you will find a link to the stems, to the instrumental, to the acapella, so that you guys can make remixes if you want. If you do want, please send it to me on Twitter or on Discord and I'll get it and I'll, maybe I'll do a reaction video reacting to the best ones. Speaking of that, let's go to the computer real quick and I'll give you a little breakdown of the production. All right, everyone, I'm gonna give you a quick breakdown of the production, let's go. First things first, coffee can kalimba coin. This is a, an Omnisphere preset. I use presets, I don't have time for sound design, okay? I got way too much stuff to do. Then I tweak it from there with whatever plugins are necessary, all right? So this is what it sounds like. Next, another Omnisphere plugin. This time, Childhood Toy Celeste. It was originally a Celeste. Sounds like a Rhodes now. Next, Pizza Strings. Everyone loves pizza, right? But this is not actually Pizza Strings. This is a Pizzicato Strings. Ariana Grande uses a lot of Pizzicato Strings in her last album, and that's the sound we're going for, so I decided to throw it in. Next thing added, Radio Tone Melodies, another Omnisphere preset, but this is one's very important. It comes in at the chorus and hits on a different part of the beat than the rest of the instruments do, like so. It's really important that you automate the volume down when you're not supposed to hear it. Otherwise, it's gonna be ringing out and it's gonna be muddy and stuff, and you don't want that. Next up, horns. It's mostly a synth at this point. Counterpoint melodies with pizza strings. Last up for the MIDI, we have the 808 bass, the slide 808 bass. I use this on literally everything now. It's pretty much part of my sound. Considering the key, it was a little too high, so I added another, even lower 808. Next up, guitars. This is interesting. I actually just mic'd up my guitar, like an acoustic guitar, and played it that way. I actually didn't plug it in, like this. Last but not least, we got TJ's guitars. He really thought this was necessary and he was right. We really need it. I did way too much stuff to them. All right, all together, this is what the harmony bus sounds like. This intro part here is cool. It's actually just me singing, but then I reversed it and then did a bunch of stuff to it. 
And then this part here is just the chorus. I bounced out the chorus and then did some crazy little Ultra Boy stuff to it. Drums! Let's do the drums. Okay, there's nothing special. It's just drag and drop samples with loops that I made, uh, loops that I got from Splice, and samples that I got from Splice. Simple clap snare. Revs. To, to build up momentum into the verse. And then a simple kick pattern and a, a, a simple beat with interesting samples. You just got to be careful about which samples you choose. That's really the biggest part about drums. A hi-hat in the pre to help build movement and momentum. You're slowly adding more samples to make the sound bigger. Until you get to the chorus. In the chorus, we got loops. We got lots of new things. We got loops. We got more claps. This is, these are the loops I like best right here. That's actually just me going. I lower the pitch to help match to the the A, and then it just gives it some more human subdivision and feel to it. I saw that they did this on uh, the Thank You Next track for Ariana Grande, so I figured I'd do something similar. In the second verse, I actually put a filter on the kick to make it smaller, and then it opens up over time, you know, to give the illusion of dynamics and growth. We got some bananas. Here's the banana. Here's the banana. This is the banana I used. We got claps for days. Look at all these claps. Some of them hit on two and four. Some of them only hit on four. Some of them only hit on the four after a couple, after two bars and stuff. And then of course, at the end, we have all of these lifters and risers and, uh, and crashes and effects and stuff to really make it hit hard on the last chorus. Well, also the other parts of the song, but especially the last chorus. It's really important that they stop on four and not go all the way to the last beat because on four, that's when the hiccup happens. The infamous hiccup is really important to make sure that that has all the space to be heard. So that's it. That's the production. I actually have two more sessions for vocals, one for the chorus and one for the, the rest of the vocals. They couldn't all fit into one session because there was just too much. As you can see, there's already 140 tracks in just the instrumental session. All right, so here's one of those vocal sessions. This is the one for just the chorus. There's a lot going on here. There's at least, there's one, two, three, eight different parts. Uh, most of them are recorded either three times, like a triple, one center, one left, one right. Or there's four and there's two left and two right. I'm not going to break it down too much. There's a lot of process there's a lot of automation to go through if I were to break it all down, but I'll just show it to you guys what it sounds like. Can't do it like, no, you can't do it like Ray. Oh me, oh my, she's stunting every day. Valkyrie, my greatest sunshine. Yeah, yeah. Valkyrie, she's always on my oh, mind. Valkyrie, she make me smile yeah, bright. Yeah. Can't do it like, no, you can't do it like were super fun to record. The whole thing was fun to record, man. It was, uh, it's such a fun song. When, and when you have all these vocals, putting them all together is really fun too. I also have a separate session for the vocals for the verse, the pre-chorus, uh, the OHB's verse and the bridge. Uh, but it's mostly the same. It's just a lot more of this kind of stuff. But yeah, let's go back to the video. Bruh. Some of you might have questions about the video as well. Basically, I had the whole thing done on Fiverr. I had three artists total. One to do my logo, another one to do the title and the big Valkyrie with the wings, and the last one to put it all together and do the entire video. It took a lot of time, about two months of going back and forth and deliberating details and stuff like that. But in the end, we came up with something I'm really proud of. So I think that's it. I wanna say thank you again from the bottom of my heart to everyone that helped make this song possible and especially those that came by my Twitch chat and helped brainstorm until the vision was fully realized. Like I said in the beginning, music is so much better when it's collaborative and Twitch chat has been some of the best co-writers I've ever had. So if you're new and you wanna help out with my next project or just come see how I make music in general, you should come by my Twitch channel, link down below. Thank you all for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Yeah.